uh good evening everyone so guys in the previous session if you remember properly that uh we have done the this part uh, basically right uh, we have created the launch template we have created the target group we have created the auto scaling and uh, even we have created the notification services right and uh, uh even we have enabled the monitoring as well right from the cloud watch so today we are going to see the load balancer part that is more important for us right and uh, after that uh, we'll see how we can uh, do the instance management global accelerator i have already explained you how you can use a global accelerator okay but before that let's uh, do this one load balancer let's uh, create the load balancer right okay before this you guys have any doubt okay okay good so see this one guys very carefully okay uh, so in this one uh, we have to create the load balancer right so uh, let's come over here right and just click on load balancer i have already told you that uh, what is the purpose of application load balancer right it is a path based routing if you remember properly let me remind you once again correct right so it is a path based routing uh, it uses a basically application lo load balancers uses a round robin algorithm and it is using a path based routing means what means app 1 and app 2 okay it's not a port based so we have created app 1 that is www html slash app 1 and app 2 so on the basis of this only it's going to redirect your traffic to app 1 and app 2 right but the dns server it's going to be common one okay so we are going to use the url of basically this application load balancer that is going to be a common url uh, but only the path difference will be there and that path you need to map it to this route 53 so that you can so you cannot remember those path and url and all even the ip and all so you can remember a human readable format like www.google.com right so for example in in our case like uh, this is a website okay makan.com so you need to purchase a domain uh, uh, first of all from any of the hosting platform right or uh, right like a hostinger is there uh, host gator is there whatever the platforms are there so buy a domain name okay uh, we have created two websites okay static website one is for makar another one is for jewelry right so first let's let's create this uh, load balancer then i'll discuss the later part okay uh, so application load balancer let's create it over here and let's give the name as a alb01 okay uh, it's going to be internet facing as i told you uh, this is load balancer always should be in the public subnet right correct if you see this diagram you will remember right this is the one right so your load balancer always should be in the public network okay so you are if it should be your private also internal also but that is within the organization okay so but in our case uh, through your uh, load balancer only you are going to receive the traffic for app 1 and app 2 okay so it should be in the public network right guys okay so internet facing this is why i have mentioned here right uh, and uh, ip before it's fine uh, we are going with the default uh, uh, this one okay uh, the default vpc in your case it should be a uh, prod vpc okay which you have created correct so uh, we have selected the availability minimum two subnets is required okay uh for this one uh, we are going with the default security group in your case it's going to be your broad security group right uh, here okay uh, the target group right so which target group app one correct so as of now see uh, we can add another listener over here but it's going to uh, conflict okay so i'll tell you how basically it's uh, i application load balancer basically works over here and how we need to edit and all uh that i'll explain you let's go with this the default setting only http we don't have https we don't have secure certificate or ssl and all configured so we are going with http only 
and the default port for this one is 80 okay and this is the target group basically which we have created in the previous session right so load balancer tag and all it's optional over here right so this part guys okay so as of now uh, i am not going to check this part because uh, i am getting error for this one i know there is some limitation for uh, aws global accelerator you cannot use uh, there is some limitation so once you have used so you have to buy this one okay so the free trial is already over for me so in your case you know the you know the purpose of this global accelerator okay i have explained see this is what the global accelerator does if the entire region is down this particular production region is down so if first its main work is to check the health of this domain okay which is configured in your route 53 if the domain is like suppose if it is unhealthy for prod so it will redirect the traffic to your dr site okay that is the main work of this global accelerator same in azure we have we have vishal traffic manager right i told you already right in azure we have yes yeah we have traffic manager remember these things guys these are the interview questions okay fine so in aws we have global accelerator okay fine let's come over here so as of now i am not going to check this one i am going with the default settings only uh once you configure this one this and all is fine absolutely fine okay let's come over here okay let's create this load balancer see so your load balancer is created over here guys now you need to know that i told you you have created one load balancer okay but you have to this is a path based routing right so how you are going to configure the other one so one you have configured one target group you have configured right basically when the traffic will reach out then it will reach out on the app one and app two right Correct. Right. So we haven't configured the other one. So where we need to configure the other one? Friends, to watch complete video, please join my channel membership. You can see I have four levels of my channel membership. So where you guys are going to get bronze, silver, gold and platinum. So friends, in bronze, you should be able to access 20% of the member only video. And if you go with silver membership, then you should be able to access 40% of the member only video. And if you'll go with gold membership, which is most valuable and value for money, my friend. So where you should be able to access 80% of the member only video. And if you wanted to go with a platinum membership where you should be able to access 100% of the member only video plus additional, you should be able to connect with me for career counseling. You can go for the mock interview. I am going to help you for your resume preparation. I'll provide you the roles and responsibility also as per your experience level, right? At the same time, I am going to refer you for the organization also. These are basically four level of membership which is available in my channel. So I'll put the link in the description how to join my channel membership. So you can join the membership to watch member only video guys. Okay, guys, I'm ending up the session here only. Thank you for staying connected with me. Let's connect again for the DevOps. Okay, tools basically in DevOps tools only. We are going to cover monitoring tools. We are going to cover uh, that is going to be our last. Okay. So we are done with this entire operation and management. Okay. Till then, just take care of yourself, your loved one. Bye-bye and Jai Hind.